Here's the deal. I am not getting off this game until I hit a freaking banger. I don't care if I'm missing out on Fortnite, all right? I know everyone's playing it right now and I'm on this bullshit, but I don't care. I am not getting off this game until I hit a banger. And it is, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard playing with against TDM noobs who use the freaking MP40. But no, seriously, I'm not getting off this game until I hit something. Like, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't even have to be a banger. It could just be like a normal clip, because I am pretty bad at this game I, I honestly don't play that much anymore and it's literally not as easy as it used to be for obvious reasons oh Florida. already already we're dealing with some stuff already we're dealing with some bullshit get out of here you fat <laughs> is this necessary Oh, that should have been a collab. I'm missing bangers, all right? So yeah, Fortnite uh, is this new game that everyone's, you know, been playing. It's basically a really crappy version of, uh, you know, Battle Royale or Player Unknowns Battlegrounds, I guess. You know, I never got into that. I, I used to play DayZ and stuff, and they had similar stuff. Uh, I believe it's made, uh, Battle Royale was, or Player Unknowns Battlegrounds. Sorry if I keep pronouncing it wrong. It was originally made from uh, like a Daisy mod, I'm pretty sure, and at least that's what I've heard. And then you know the people ended up making it its own game, which is pretty cool. And I used to play that. I have never touched Player on Battlegrounds though, and I I might eventually get into it, but I know like it literally, if it's anything like Daisy, you can play like a game, and it and it literally takes four hours. Like not even joking. I don't know if it's that bad. I think it's a little bit quicker. But I used to play Daisy all the time, and it took forever. But honestly, I haven't touched my PC in a while for games. Um, and that, that sounds like I molest my PC. I, I don't molest my PC for all you people who think I might. This is a great spawn. Literally right next to the dude. This guy, is he calls everyone a hacker. Like, there's no one in the game hacking. The, so you think. So my last video was the Soar video where I joined Soar and I, I left the same video. You got a lot of people didn't believe that I actually joined, but don't trust me. I definitely joined. This kid sounds fucking ten. He sounds like a ten year old complaining. If I could just hit a bolt clip, like a Springfield quad feet or something, it'd be nice. So yeah, my joining Soar video went up and it did pretty well. And honestly. Uh, why am I even trying to snake against them? Like, if there's no point unless you're playing against snipers. So yeah, the sword video went up. It did pretty good. Um, and in the video, I I do start some beef with Sore Mitch. And if you if you watch the video, that you already know, basically. Uh, Sormich was saying that I was lying about joining Soar, which I don't know where he gets these false accusations. So yeah, he said I was lying about joining Soar, and after that I basically just, you know, rip his, uh, rip his, uh, picture off my wall. Just a little backstory, uh, I put his picture up there a while back when I moved here, and him and, uh, Prison Mike. Prison Mike's actually... Prison Mike's actually still up, so he's still good, but yeah, I took the Sore, Sore Mitch picture down, and I, I'm, I'm sorry for all of you, all of you fans of Sore Mitch out there, I, I, I will, uh, I will put something up there soon. But yeah, I took the Sore Mitch picture down, and then, uh, this, this, couple people, like, were, uh, memeing it on Twitter and stuff. I'll put up some of the memes that people put up, but, uh, it's, it's pretty good. The one that has me and, uh, and him in the picture is probably my favorite. I've personally never talked to Mitch other than maybe like once on Twitter or something. Never talked to him or anything. Uh, he seems he seems 
cool, you know, he just seems like a normal guy. Uh, but it's really hard to tell from watching someone because if you like watching me or watching my videos, I am not anything like Oh woohoo, that was that was pretty dirty. What I was saying was I am not anything like I am on my videos. Like uh, I'm not like fake or anything, but I just I just don't like act or talk this did he just he just got triple -kid. I just don't act or talk, you know, like I do on these videos. I I don't know. Um it's kind of hard to explain. The only way you can understand what I'm talking about is probably if you make videos yourself. Like it's it's not really God damn you, mom. It's not really like me like uh, faking like a personality or anything. It's just like it's it's kind of different. Like I never I am different talking on a video than I am, you know, in real life. And that, that, I guess that goes with everyone. You know, you're different talking to your friends than you are your parents and you're different talking at school than you are um at fucking jail or ooh dirty dirty that was a solid game so hopefully i can hit a clip otherwise i don't know and i this is probably going to be some sort of bullshit cut commentary which i know you guys hate watching, well, I don't know if you hate watching. I don't really do them, and I've kind of bashed on them in the past, you know, it's that kind of the Jev, face Jev type of making a video. Just sit there for, you know, an hour and play, and then put together a video, like a bullshit way of, the reason I don't like doing them is because literally everyone does them, and there's nothing wrong with it, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna bash on it too hard, but it's really easy, like I wanna make, I wanna be creative, I wanna do something different, which is hard to do, in Call of Duty YouTube community, but let me just put in a clan tag real quick. Well, I'm feeling DNAG. That is a good clan tag. I hope it actually worked. It usually does if you put it in on the main menu or the loading screen. Um, there's just so many cool little things about War to War that most people don't know um, that I could probably just go over when I'm playing and stuff. First things first, tanks suck. Never, never use a tank. If you use a tank or call in dogs, you are a complete asshole. This is one of my favorite games for bounces because most people don't know where they are or, you know, never hit any. And they're quite, they're really easy to hit. The only problem with them is that they don't go that high. And I'll show you what, what the, dude, kill yourself. <laughs> this is one I always go for. I've never actually hit it. But you just jump off here and then try to do that. I usually go for it because the, the flag on World of War goes all the way back there. Usually go for that one. And there's one in the middle. There's actually two in the middle that I've never hit before. And one of my favorite clips was IDX hit this for uh, the... Uh, okay. IDX hit this bounce over here. I have never actually hit the bounce. Like, not even, not even hitting the bounce. Like, there's a difference between, sh like, getting a kill off the bounce and then actually, like... Hitting the bounce, if you know what I'm talking about. He hit this in the dark side of the moon tritage. He hit a bounce, collat. He got a collat. I was in the game for it. I was freaking out because I actually witnessed it. And he, ba you basically run, you jump, and there's supposed to be a bounce right there. And I, I've never hit it in my life. You lock the door, throw away the key. I don't know where you jump, and I've rewatched that, rewatched that clip a million times, and it's just one of my favorite clips that he has hit. And I know he plays like, you know, modded COD4 and MWR now, but man, it used to be so fun going for that bounce. By the way, guys, if you like War to War cut commentaries from me, even though they're the most boring thing in the world in my opinion, just tell me, and I'll make some more because they are super easy. I only have to record for about two games and you already have 10 minutes of footage which is so insanely stupid there are so many insane clips that i've always wanted to hit on this game and you know knowing that i like uh used to host lobbies and stuff all the time on this game like you would think i would be able to hit the clips that are like the most insane but no it is like it's hard if you've ever played in my lobby it's literally just 9v9 ground war it's literally just 9v9 ground war and you would think that's easy but i'll tell you what right now if you want to use a bolt, you are 100% getting split because 9v9 ground war in this game gets crazy with, you know, calling in artillery, dogs, like literally anything can split you and anything does split you. So clips that I've always wanted to hit, uh, one of them being shooting a tank and blowing it up and getting like a triple 
that is just like COD 3 and that is usable and I've only seen like I've never seen a triple but I've seen like a balance no scope collat and I forget who it was like maybe I, I honestly I don't remember who probably one of the tribe called truth kids I want to hit a triple from a tank I want to hit a, a lot of bounces that I haven't hit um, and one of the biggest things and uh, it's it would be so cool if someone ever hit this but one of the biggest things I wanted to hit was jumping off the top of castle the roof on castle jumping off th throwing a statue in the air I'll just I'll just if you are on the top of castle picture that throw a statue in the air jump off and then shoot it when it blows up getting like a clip off that like just hitting that would be amazing war on castle this is what i'm talking about this is what i needed all night boys unfortunately i got the bad side but it's okay it's still war on castle and i actually need more clips on this side i've never hit a spawn shot on this side and honestly i've only hit like maybe one clip on this side uh, obviously no no one's gonna, for, gonna go for the spawn shot because they're all Whenever I get this side, I always, like always, flank around this way. Throw a tab in, I know, I'm the worst. And then run over here, try to get the uh, spawn trap. Because you can actually watch them spawn in there. Which is crazy, because usually on World at War, it's it's not that good for spawn traps where you can watch them spawn in. But that one, you can legit watch them spawn in. It's pretty good. There's one. How did I miss? How did I miss? Good, actually. This spot is really freaking good, if I can get it. How did I- how am I missing these shots? Easiest shots ever. Easiest shots ever. Why are you- why are you doing this? Why do you do this? You know, some people want to play the game. Hey guys, it's Logs, and I didn't actually end up hitting anything that night, uh, I ended up going to bed, but I did hit some clips from the last couple days I've been playing, so I'll just put those in here, and you can watch them. Pretty good clips, not gonna lie, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, leave a like, I'm gonna be more, making more of these in the future, so yeah, just leave a like, and thanks, I'll see you later. Me, recon play. It's the five. No, I missed the five on screen. That would have been so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We will.